Alright, look, Ogre Pond is the new wave. If you're not already using this thing, you gotta get on it. It's the most fun new Pokemon we've had in a while. And it's also extremely strong right now. So, I've got a really good match here. I am using a team kind of built around the Hearth Flame Mask, Fire-type Ogre Pond, where my opponent is actually using a Rain team with the Water-type Ogre Pond. So, we got an interesting matchup here, a little Weather War action going on. Let's jump into the match. Alright, so my opponent is going to lead off with the Alien from American Dad as I decide to toss out the Torterra. So, uh, first of all, this Poison Psychic type over here, I, I'm not really sure exactly what this thing wants to do. I'm thinking it's probably going to want to get out of here fearing an Earthquake. I'm thinking potentially I can go for a turn one Shell Smash. That is correct. Torterra gets access to Shell Smash now, and now this thing could potentially be amazing. Listen, it is really slow like to still take advantage of but there is definitely some matches where you can get some stuff happening i decide to go for it i don't ordinarily shell smash on stuff turn one but i'm thinking you know sorterra actually looks like i have a decent chance here so i go ahead and break the shit out of my shell as pelipper comes in this is a torterra running the loaded dice mainly there to take advantage of the bullet seed and now is when i really wish that i actually had rock blast on this thing as well i've been trying a couple different sets i have trailblaze on this one currently uh, being able to get that extra speed does set up Torterra to be able to outspeed pretty much everything because like I said It's base speed is still just too slow even doubled to be able to you know, take advantage of stuff So here's the plan. I can potentially go for the Terra fire fearing an ice beam I decide to instead just go for that bullet seed um, Without wasting my Terra early on. I know that's gonna be pretty valuable for me later So I go for that bullet seed. I know it's gonna be a nice little two-hit KO uh, Against the Pelipper with that loaded dice guaranteed at least four hits and it is gonna do over half so Rock Blast would have been really nice. Honestly, Rock Blast potentially could have set me up to, like, sweep the entire team. But he decides to go for the U-turn, uh, I guess expecting potentially a switch, fearing something like the Ice Beam. But now in comes the most feared bass of them all. In comes Basque Legion in the rain. This thing hits extremely... It doesn't matter if you resist. This thing with a Wave Crash is going to do a lot to anything in the rain. So... My only check to this Pokemon is going to be my Milotic, who is back and looking better than ever. Scald is back, baby. Um, I'm thinking, basically, the only thing I can switch in here is Milotic. I do need to kind of conserve my check to this thing because, you know, I don't really have much else. And in the rain, this thing is an extreme problem. So, that's where the Weather Wars are going to kind of come in, come into play. So, I decided to go into Milotic. Just kind of test the waters here. No pun intended. Goes for that Liquidation. He's going to do, like, close to half and gets the Defense Drop, which... Is kind of worst case scenario. So, <laughs> having a defense drop there really sucks. Like I said, I really need to kind of manage this thing's HP uh, to the point where I can I can basically save it for that Basque Legion later. Um, I decide now, okay, with that defense drop, I can't really risk my Lotic getting hit again. So what I do is decide to switch into my Nine Tails here. Say, hey, fuck all this rain. I'm gonna make it sunny out here. Uh, as they actually end up switching as well, he's gonna end up going to into their Ogre Pond, which is going to be the water one. Like I said, so this thing's chilling in the rain, having a nice wet time. As Ninetales says, bitch, I'm gonna literally do the opposite of rain on your parade here, and instead make it sunny on your parade. So, Ninetales against Ogre Pond's an interesting matchup. Uh, this thing does have the Ivy Cudgel water type, but in the sun, I should be able to take it. And I'm feeling ballsy. I'm gonna go for the Hypnosis here. So, uh, this thing does outspeed because she quick as hell. I'm able to take an Ivy Cudgel thanks to that sun, and I do actually connect on the Hypnosis. That's... That's a first, I swear to God. Hypnosis, Ninetales, clutch as hell if it can work. So, I do hit that Hypnosis, which is amazing, and now this thing being asleep is great. So, I have a few options here. Either I can switch and try to get position, or I can just keep my Balls of Steel and go for a Fire Blast and hope to hit that in the sun. Uh, this thing is Grass Water type, so it's neutral. I do actually hit the Fire Blast as well, and that is going to do over half, which is awesome. So, uh, at this point, I'm just going to go for a Fire Blast again. I figure if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ninetales is out here just making shit happen. Uh, this thing stays asleep, and I miss the Fire Blast, which is very unfortunate. So, I mean, it's kind of bound to happen. I hit a Hypnosis and a Fire Blast, so the gods were, they, they were, they, they punished me for that. Uh, anyway, so I decided to save my Ninetales. I'm thinking, you know, I could probably benefit from having this thing later, get that sun back up, and I decide we're going to have a little old-fashioned Ogre off here. Uh, <laughs> There's never been so much Ogre Poon in one place, and I am here for it. So, this thing does actually end up waking up here. Uh, goes for that Water Ivy Cudgel, and we're just smacking each other with sticks over here, pretty much. But, uh, I'm able to take that nicely, thanks to the sun again. And at this point, I'm going to try to finish this thing off uh, with the Horn Leech. So, interesting matchup here. If we're both plus speed nature and max speed, we actually have a speed tie. Um, and that's spoilers for later. But, 
I do decide to go for that Horn Leech to take out their Ogre. Uh, instead, they decide to switch into the Iron Hands. This thing comes in here, hands looking thick as shit, and uh, the damage from the Horn Leech is not going to quite be enough. But, here's where the Ogre Pond gets interesting, and that is with the Mask. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm sitting in the sun, it's a sunny time, my fire move with that boost is not going to quite be enough, but what I can do is I can actually go for the Terra. And upon Terra, Ogre Pond is able to actually get a physical attack boost, uh, plus the sun, it's going to be enough to take out the Iron Hands. And you can really kind of kind of get some shit going here with that Terra. So, I make my mask absolutely massive. Looking scary, menacing as hell. And I'm just kind of standing behind it with my skinny legs, which is <laughs> hilarious. But, I do get that embody aspect that is going to give me a nice little attack boost. And now, this stick is looking much scarier than before. Ivy cudgeled the absolute living shit out of this thing. And that is going to end up taking care of of the Iron Hands, which is a very bad Pokemon for me to deal with, so uh, seeing that thing go down is amazing. So in the sun with that attack boost, nothing was living that, that's for sure. But uh, now they decide to go into the Pelipper, gonna make it rain once again, say hey this sun is not really working out for me. So they, they do go into the Pelipper, get that drizzle, hopefully one last time, and I can just go for a Horn Leech here to finish this thing off, get all my health back, have a good time. But they decide to tuck the Pelipper back in the back pocket for later, uh, they do want to get that rain up uh, at a later time, which is a smart play. Weather is super important in this matchup, but uh, they hard switch into the Monkey Dory. Horn Leech resisted does almost half, which is insane, uh, and I am actually faster. That's the, the Ogre Pond is honestly super quick. It has really good uh, both speed and attack, and honestly, kind of decent uh, defenses all around. So uh, a knockoff is going to be enough to take care of the Monkey Dory, so it didn't see that thing do any of its crazy monkey shenanigans, but... Uh, we get rid of its choice spec. So, uh, now they have a free switch and it's in the rain. So in comes Samurott. And Hisuian Samurott is an absolute threat, especially uh, when it's in the rain. And I'm knowing that my, my Ogre Pond is extremely important. Now it's like I decide who wants to switch into the Samurott here. I kind of want to conserve my low tick for that Basque Legion. I decide to go into Ninetales here, basically get the sun up again, and uh, kind of sack this thing off. Now this... The second I click this, I realize it's probably a, a bad play. I, I likely should have sacked something else um, to be able to kind of conserve my weather for later. So I, I get my sun up, but basically it's going to be up as long as the they decide to come and go into their Pelipper. And now I'm realizing what a problem that Basque Legion is in the back. So uh, that is going to be a problem for later, as now I can just bring back in <laughs> Ogre Pond in the sun once again, get that embody aspect, and, um, you know, Samurott really does not threaten me here. And now likely their play is just to switch into Pelipper, get that rain up once one last time. I will be able to kill it, but uh, purely fire type Ogre Pond in the rain is not gonna be uh, not gonna be great against the, the water sweepers they've got. So again, they do switch into that Pelipper, it makes it rain again. These people on the sidelines are like, listen, I don't know what to wear out here, man. It's been raining, it's been sunny, it is all over the place out here. So I leech the shit out of that Pelipper, it does go down. However, that thing is likely carrying the Damp Rock, and this rain is going to last for eight turns, which is extremely bad because now in comes Basque Legion, looking absolutely badass as hell, uh, kind of just ready to make some stuff happen. And now is when I really realized, I, I, I switched into Ninetales thinking I had a better lead than I really did, um, because as looking at it, like, Milotic being my only check to this thing, all I can really do is kind of Dragon Tail it out. Um, and I don't think I can switch into two wave crashes if that's what it's going to be besides liquidation. It does go for the wave crash on the switch in, and my low tick is going to be two hit KO'd by that because, listen, I don't care who you are, choice band Basque Legion in the rain with a wave crash is going to do a lot to you. So, uh, that is unfortunate. I really probably should have managed this my low tick a little bit better, but I'm just kind of running out of options here against water on this team. So, uh, I basically decide to uh, let this thing go down, and now I have to devise a plan on being able to somehow outlive uh, this fish, who is faster than everything on my team, and uh, pretty much Oko is like literally everything. So, good news is, it is getting hit by some recoil from the wave crash. Uh, I decide to go into Ursa Luna here. Here's the plan. Ursa Luna, I know, obviously bring ground type is going to die to a wave crash. Uh, but what I can do before that is go for a Vacuum Wave. You may be thinking, hey, this thing's a Ghost type. Ursa Luna does not give a shit. Blood Moon's ability does allow you to hit Ghost types with Normal and Fighting. Uh, doesn't do quite enough. And then this next Wave Crash, I'm really hoping does enough recoil to like knock this thing out. It's kind of my only chance. Uh, I have so much HP, it almost gets this thing down. It does knock it to red. 
to where the next wave crash is going to kill this thing. So luckily, this thing being choice banded kind of benefits me in this situation because being locked into wave crash with that recoil sets me up decently. So I basically have to use like all of my assets on this team to be able to finish this thing off. But I do feel confident that with the Ogre Pond in the back, I do have a win condition. So uh, now I go into <laughs> I go into Larry, who basically just comes in to die as the wave crash obviously just knocks this thing out. Um, and at least the Basque Legion rain is done because it does actually knock itself out. Uh, but I fear that I've had to use too many, too much of my team to kind of uh, take care of that threat. But I have Grass Doyce and I have Ogre Pond on the team. So I'm thinking Ogre Pond likely is able to finish this match off, but it's going to come down to some shenanigans against their Ogre Pond. So let's see how this plays out. I decided to bring in Torterra first just to kind of see. They have two Pokemon left, going to be the Ogre Pond and the Samurott. Uh, so they do decide to go into the Ogre, and the rain is three turns left, not going to be enough to kind of outlive. So uh, I just click Bullet Seed here. This thing basically is going to be able to kill me with an Ivy Cudgel, especially in the rain, and especially because he's going to do the same thing that I did and go full mask on me. So makes this thing nice and massive. It is still being in the rain. Does it give this thing the benefit, benefit of the doubt? Um, and honestly, sc way scarier mask. I, this thing is... Looking like a crazy doll, I don't know. Does get its embody aspect, actually raises its special defense, which I'm thinking, hey, thank God that wasn't a speed boost because if it was, then it was gonna be able to outspeed my Ogre Pond, no questions asked. So, goes for that Ivy Cudgel, Grastoise has no chance. But you know who does have a chance is my Ogre Pond. Again, we got Ogre versus Ogre action, and now it's time to see if theirs is max speed. Mine is Jolly, plus speed nature, max speed as fast as this thing can possibly get if I can win the speed tie. It literally comes down to a tie, which essentially is a 50-50 chance to be able to outspeed, and a Horn Leech will be able to knock this thing out. So it is time to see if the luck is on my side. I go for that Horn Leech. You gotta love when a coin flip decides a match, right? It turns out theirs actually outspeeds me. They do win the speed tie. A water type Ivy Cudgel in the rain is gonna knock mine out. So that is unfortunate, but honestly, super intense that it came down to it. Listen, I had a lot of misplays in this match. I did not play my weather correctly, um, and also looking back at that Fire Blast from Ninetales, if that didn't miss, I wouldn't have had to deal with this, this, uh, this Ogre Pond, but, you know, it is what it is, honestly, really fun match, I thought it was just a, a really cool team match up there, uh, and I had a lot of fun, it's kind of the way it goes sometimes, boys, thank you very much for watching, hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time, peace out.